Hi, I'm Teacher Charlene, and today I'm going to read the book, What Do You Do With a Kangaroo? But first, a poem called The Toad and the Kangaroo. Said the toad to the kangaroo, I can hop, and so can you. So if we marry, we'll have a child who can jump a mountain or hop a mile. And we can call it a toadaroo, said the hopeful toad to the kangaroo. Said the kangaroo, my dear, what a perfectly lovely idea. I would most gladly marry you. But as for having a toadaroo, I'd rather we call it a kangaroo, said the kangaroo to the frowning toad. So they argued but couldn't agree on rangatou or kangaree. And finally the toad said, I don't give a darn if it's a ruta code or toad a kang. I really don't feel like marrying you. Fine with me, said the kangaroo. And the toad had no more to say. And the kangaroo just hopped away. And they never married or had a child that could jump a mountain or hop a mile. What a loss, what a shame, just because they couldn't agree on a name. What do you do with a kangaroo? Written and illustrated by Mercer Mayer. What do you do with a kangaroo who jumps in your window, sits on your bed, and says, I never sleep on wrinkled sheets. So change them now and make them smooth and fluff up the pillows if you please. You throw him out. That's what you do. Get out of my bed, you kangaroo. What do you do when you go to the bathroom to wash your face and hanging there where your towel should be, brushing his teeth like he owns the place, is an opossum? He says to you, this toothpaste you use is much too sweet. And your toothbrush, I'm sorry to say, is all worn. Please get me a new one tomorrow. What would you do if somebody was in your bathroom using your things? Do you think it's a good idea to use somebody else's toothbrush? Probably not, because inside your mouth, are lots and lots of germs and you don't want to share germs with other people because you could get sick or get somebody else sick. You grab him up by his skinny tail and carry him off. That's what you do. Get out of my bathroom, you opossum. What do you do if you want to get dressed, but wearing your jeans, your favorite pair is a llama who says, I lost my pants on this tennis court. I think yours will do. Though the color's all wrong, the knees are tight and a button is gone. The cuffs are frayed and for goodness sake, the seam is ripped. So send these right off to the tailor. What do you do? Throw him out. That's what you do. Give me my pants back, you llama. What do you do when you go down to eat and there on the table dipping his paws in your cereal bowl is a smiling raccoon? 
The cereal is stale, he says to you, but I'm so hungry that I don't care. And I never eat with dirty paws, so bring me a gold-plated finger bowl and fill it with water of scented rose. And bring me a towel of fluffy lamb's wool and a whisker brush, too, for I'm very neat. And hurry, I've been waiting all morning. You throw him out. It's as simple as that. Say, stay away from my breakfast, you raccoon. Do you share your breakfast with other people? Maybe you do in your own family, but it's probably not a good idea to do it with people that are outside your family because you can spread germs that come from your mouth. Sometimes even from your hands if you're not very good at washing him. What do you do if you want to go out, but there in the doorway blocking your view stands a large baby moose? I won't move, she explains, till you give me a bath in apricot juice and brush my teeth with a sassafras root and play me a tune on a brass French horn and say, pretty please, 15 times. What do you do? You throw her out. That's what you do. Get out of my way, you old moose, you. What if you what do you do if you want to go riding, but there on your bed, red painted tricycle seat sits a grown Bengal tiger with flashing green eyes. Hurry up, he exclaims, and push me along to the Taj Mahal circus before it's too late. You'll have to push fast and sing me a song about waffles and airplanes, a matter of fact. And when we arrive, just to show you my thanks, I'll eat you for dinner. Or breakfast. Probably not the safest thing to have in your house, huh? Give that tiger a push if that's what he wants. You push him right off. That's all there is to it. Get off my tricycle, you tiger. What do you do if somebody's on your tricycle? What could you do? Could you maybe let him have a turn? Or you can tell him you can have a turn when I'm done. What do you do if you fill up the tub, but before you get wet, a camel comes in and drinks the tub dry? Then, chewing your washcloth, he says with a burp, Now fill up the tub, I've a terrible thirst, and throw in some tasty bath salt if you please, but this time, leave out the soap. What do you do? hard to share things, isn't it? But sometimes you just have to let them know you can have it when I'm done. You throw him out. That's what you do. Get away from my bathtub, you camel.
Sometimes if you don't want to share and they don't want to wait, you can always ask them too. Do you want to play with me? What do you do if it's late at night, but all snuggled up where you always sleep is a camel, a moose, a llama, an opossum, a tiger, a raccoon, and a kangaroo. And all at once they say to you, we're very sorry if you want to sleep, but as you can see, there's no more room. So make some warm milk and bring us a glass. Find some more blankets. It's chilly in here. And remember the chocolate chip cookies. What would you do? Well, you know what to do. You throw them all out. That's what you do. What do you do if you can't throw them out? You let them stay. the end. This is the number six. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Thank you for watching. Remember to go outside and enjoy some time in the sun or in the clouds. Bye.